Theodorus of Cyrene. Theodorus of Cyrene, Greek, Theta Epsilon Delta Omega Rho Omicron Sigma Kappa Upsilon Rho Eta Nu Alpha Omicron Sigma, was an ancient Libyan Greek and lived during the 5th century BC. The only first-hand accounts of him that survive are in three of Plato's dialogues, the Theotetus, the Sophist, and the Statesman. In the former dialogue, he posits a mathematical theorem now known as the Spiral of Theodorus. Life Little is known of Theodorus' biography beyond what can be inferred from Plato's dialogues. He was born in the northern African colony of Cyrene, and apparently taught both there and in Athens. He complains of old age in the Theotetus, the dramatic date of 399 BC of which suggests his period of flourishing to have occurred in the mid-5th century. The text also associates him with the sophist Protagoras, with whom he claims to have studied before turning to geometry. A dubious tradition repeated among ancient biographers like Diogenes Laertius held that Plato later studied with him in Cyrene, Libya. Work in Mathematics Theodorus' work is known through a sole theorem, which is delivered in the literary context of the Theotetus and has been argued alternately to be historically accurate or fictional. In the text, his student Theotetus attributes to him the theorem that the square roots of the non-square numbers up to 17 are irrational. The square containing two square units is not mentioned, perhaps because the incommensurability of its side with the unit was already known, Theodorus's method of proof is not known. It is not even known whether, in the quoted passage, up to, mu chiro iota, means that 17 is included. If 17 is excluded, then Theodorus's proof may have relied merely on considering whether numbers are even or odd. Indeed, Hardy and Wright and Nor suggest proofs that rely ultimately on the following theorem, if x2 equals ny2, backslash display style x squared equals n dot y squared, is soluble in integers, and n, backslash display style n, is odd, then n, backslash display style n, must be congruent to 1 modulo 8, since x, backslash display style x, and y, backslash display style y, can be assumed odd, so their squares are congruent to 1 modulo 8. A possibility suggested earlier by Soiden is that Theodorus applied the so-called Euclidean algorithm, formulated in Proposition X.2 of the elements as a test for incommensurability. In modern terms, the theorem is that a real number with an infinite continued fraction expansion is irrational. Irrational square roots of periodic expansions. The period of the square root of 19 has length 6, which is greater than the period of the square root of any smaller number. The period of 17 has length 1 so does 18, but the irrationality of 18 follows from that of 2. The so-called spiral of Theodorus is composed of contiguous right triangles with hypotenuse lengths equal to, 3, 4, 17, additional triangles cause the diagram to overlap. Philip J. Davis interpolated the vertices of the spiral to get a continuous curve. He discusses the history of attempts to determine Theodorus' method in his book Spirals, From Theodorus to Chaos and makes brief references to the matter in his fictional Thomas Gray series. That Theotetus established a more general theory of irrationals, whereby square roots of non-square numbers are irrational, is suggested in the eponymous Platonic dialogue as well as commentary on, and scolia to, the elements. Dot.